Hi, my loves. This is an awesome conversation about food freedom. If you're someone who has a history of yo-yo dieting and a mildly disordered relationship with food, I think you're going to feel set free after listening to today's episode with Elisa, and I'm super pumped for you to dive in. Warning, if you're someone who has an active eating disorder or who's going to feel triggered by conversations about calories or exercise, this is not an episode for you. Instead, schedule a discovery call and we'll chat one-on-one about your health. Enjoy. So I'm Dr. Kate Henry. I'm thrilled to be here today with Elisa from Chronometer. She is the community marketing manager for Chronometer. She is a nutrition nerd and extreme sports snowmobile photographer. Um, And guys, we connected last week and I was blown away just by her energy, by her health, by her vibrance. And we really connected over this true nutrition and how it gives you food freedom. And she has a story that is going to really touch your heart and I think inspire a lot of you. So Elisa, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited after our call. I'm like, yeah, the vibe is so good. So (laughs) I'm excited to talk to your people and share with mine. I love it. So I would love if you could start with your story and just kind of where you used to be and what really changed for you that has allowed you to shift into this place of food freedom and thriving. Absolutely. So I come from a little bit of a disordered eating past. Um, When I was in high school, I remember the moment I learned about a calorie uh, and then it was all over from there. So as soon as I found out how many calories were in everything, like today, I'm basically like chronometer personified. You can pull something out of your cupboard. I can probably tell you how many calories are in one serving because I was that entrenched in it. So um, I kept my calories woefully low. I would keep them around 1100. That would be like a high day, you know, anywhere from like 800 to 1100. And at that point I was working at a gym and exercising probably three hours a day. Oh my God. So, so this eating behavior went on really for a long time. I'm not sure if anyone that's listening can sympathize, but I've tried everything. I've done whole 30. I've done South beach diet. I've done ketogenic diet. I've done absolutely everything. It's, it's this cycle. I think you get, get caught in it's it's uh restricting binging restricting binging and then ultimately like I don't think anyone would have suspected I had an eating disorder because my weight would mostly with this process stay the same but I really felt like I wanted to to lose at least like 10 or 15 pounds I don't have a very big frame so so really the TSN turning point for me is um working at chronometer When I started, there was just a few of us in the office and I worked alongside our nutrition scientist, Karen, who is an absolute gem, Uh, totally one of my favorite coworkers, Karen, I love you. Uh, And so I started learning just like little tidbits as I was helping people with chronometer. So logging was really easy for me. I think that my job was just a natural fit. I had food journaled basically since I was like 16, 17, and I'd used other apps in the past for sure for tracking. So chronometer kind of felt like home already. And then, so at that point, I really didn't know much beyond calories. And that's all I was paying attention to. And then I was helping these people learn the app through my job. And then I'm like, what are these macronutrients? Like I'd heard of carbs, obviously, and I had restricted them and I'd heard about protein, but I didn't know how to apply that to, to my life. And then I started like paying more attention to eating protein because we, we understand now how important that is. Um, and then I, and then there was all these micronutrients. So that word can sound a little scary for some people they're like what is that and that's just uh the term for vitamins and minerals so really with chronometer you would think that maybe working in an environment that was obviously just diet centric and by diet I mean how someone chooses to eat as opposed to a particular diet um that that might exacerbate my eating disorder but in actual fact it's completely changed my life because I started biohacking. I started like playing with how like sleep affects my caloric intake. And, you know, like if I exercise the day before, I tend to be very snacky the day after if I'm doing like a lot. And so paying attention to those things really gave me you know, knowledge I didn't have before. Like you, you can't, you can't measure what you're not tracking basically. Right. 
And then, so yes, I know I'm preaching to the choir here, (laughs) totally. And then from there, I was like, oh, you know, I I got an aura watch or a aura ring. And then um, we had like wearables I could test in the office. And I'm like, I'm burning a lot of calories. Like I'm very active. And then I'm like, I should, you know, try eating more. And then I hired a coach. And at that time I was eating like maybe like 16, 1700 calories. And I thought that was pretty good. Like this is up significantly from what I've been doing right and then she's like we're gonna like reverse diet you basically so we're just gonna start eating more like you have to hit 100 grams of protein minimum a day so for me that means like supplementing I I do make this I call it like a sludge bowl it's just full (laughs) it's not not pretty it is not pretty but uh it tastes so good it has like oats and uh, milk and protein powder and peanut butter it's just it's just like a, a most delicious dessert snack, but it has like, I think 56 grams of protein. Not, I think I do know this. And, uh, so that, that's really helped me with my protein intake. Like you, you have to do what works for you. Right. So now I eat usually between like 1900 and like 2,500 calories a day. And had you told me this as a teenager, I would have been like, No, because I would have assumed that I would gain weight, but, but not, not at all. So I think that there's so many people that we've been fed this, this story forever, you know, like we've been told 1200 calories a day, like there's infographics everywhere, what a 1200 calorie diet looks like, like that has been pumped into us forever. And I think that now that people have more education, there's definitely a shift that we're seeing and it's a positive one. And I hope that other women can look at my story and, you know, see that the tracking doesn't have to necessarily like lead to obsession because for me, it's given me absolute freedom. And the fact that I'm eating twice as much, even some days three times as much as I was when I was a teenager and not gaining, not gaining weight, you know? And like, I think a lot of people be like, oh, maybe that works for you. That's great. I mean, I do exercise a lot. Right. But, but I think that with, if, if you get, if you buy into the process and give yourself some flexibility, some wiggle room, I think that people will completely transform their, their health because my energy levels are through the roof. (laughs) I get great sleep, you know, like I'm, I'm training as, as we mentioned before for, um, an Ironman. And I, I wouldn't have dreamt of having the energy to do those things before. I was super lethargic and napping. So Amazing. chronometer has changed, has changed my life. I use it every day. Uh, and not everyone on, on staff does. And that's, that's fine and okay. Like some people check in with their diets and we, we don't expect that. It's, it's really whatever works for people, right? So. Well, I love this story. So I want to just applaud you, right? Because this is hard work. Um, and we're guys, we're going to take you through some chronometer analysis and, and chronometer is just a nutrition tracker that tracks over 80 different nutrients a day, right? So it's not just calories, carbs, fat, you know, protein, it's vitamins A through K minerals, calcium through zinc, all of your amino acids, fiber, and omega threes. And human nutrition actually isn't that complicated. We only use these 80 nutrients to run over 500 biochemical reactions that keep us alive every day. When you master those nutrients, you master health. And this is what Elisa has done. And that's why she feels amazing. She's sleeping well, her energy is through the roof. You can tell she's happy, right? And guys, when people come into my clinic, they're usually restricting, they're trying to lose weight, they're stuck, they're sad, they're tired, right? Because they're not eating anything and they feel afraid to eat more, right? And I want you to hear Elisa's story because I want you to know what's on the other side for you if you start to learn about true nutrition. And so Elisa, if it's okay with you, um, I'm going to show people some and share my screen and kind of show them what we're talking about because sometimes yeah. it's hard to understand just hearing it. So guys, if you're listening to this later via audio, what I want you to do is go to my YouTube channel, 
or to Instagram and go watch this video. Cause then you'll see what we're talking about real time, but I'll try my best to explain it to you in case you're, you're audio only. So right now we are looking at kind of a typical diet of uh, a mid thirties woman who comes to see me. And it sounds like Elisa, when I showed you this earlier, you were like, Oh my God, that was me. That was totally, that was, this is exactly my <laughs> diet before. So it's like oat milk latte with, with a kind bar in the morning, a chicken Caesar salad for lunch, a lean cuisine for dinner. And then like your half hour to an hour hit class when you're like trying to lose weight. And this is like a really low calorie diet, right? And in theory, if you're just counting calories, you'd think you'd be losing weight with this, but this never, ever works for people. And what you guys can see when I scroll down is it's not meeting any of your vitamin, mineral, fiber, omega-3 or protein needs. And here's why this matters. Because when you eat this way, your body and your cells are starving for micronutrients. And so what they're going to do is make you crave foods to hopefully help you meet these. Because when you're deficient in these, your cells aren't working. Your metabolism isn't working. And think other things are going to happen to you too. Like you're not going to be able to sleep. And so you are starving, trying so hard to restrict your intake. You have no energy and you're completely unhealthy, right? And Elisa and I don't want this for anyone ever. No, but- because <laughs> there's there's so much food to eat, there's so much enjoyment to be had, and there's so much life to live. Like honestly, right? that's what it comes down to. So well, and the thing is, what I want you guys to pay attention to is this total energy um, for this day is about forty five percent of what sort of like um, the average American female in their thirties would need. And what that means when you eat this way is that your metabolism will drop. So your body has some control over how much energy you burn every single day, depending on how much you're taking in. When you restrict your calories this low, what's going to happen is your body feels like I'm in starvation mode. Something's wrong, right? There's a famine or there's scarce food. So I'm going to drop my metabolism so that I can survive. And you feel low energy because your body is literally turning down the dial on your energy to keep you alive, right? But what I want, so this is going to end up with you having a lower metabolism and stored fat. Eventually you're going to end up eating more because your cells are screaming for these vitamins and minerals and nutrients, and you're not full because you did not eat enough protein, right? 30% of the protein you need in a day or fiber 50% with this plan. And so you're just perpetually hungry and that, that will make you cranky. So what I want to point out here for the folks who are listening to you is that these protein levels are also going to make you depressed and anxious over time. So you need protein to build amino acids. In particular, you need things like tryptophan and tyrosine. This type of diet gets you less than 60% there, which means you're going to be 60% as happy and 60% as calm as you could be. We don't want that for you. We want you thriving. So I'm going to show you a different plan. This is a plan I would build for somebody who came into my office looking for food as medicine help. What you'll notice at first, and Elisa, is this kind of like, does this remind you of a typical day for you now? This is, this is much, much closer. I think that people might look at this and be like, there's no way, or this is a dream or this, this can't be my diet, but it can. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So guys, for those of you who can't see this, this is like eggs and spinach and mozzarella and a whole sweet potato in the morning. Um, you can still have your same salad, but we're going to throw some walnuts on it for lunch, salmon, brown rice, asparagus. And then you're also having three snacks, including ice cream, including trail mix, including a power bar. Right. And so we're doubling your calories, but you'll see that you, you have actually burned twice as many calories as you did with the other plan. Cause you raised your metabolism and there's a principle called the thermic effect of food which chronometer measures, which we will talk about in a second. Um, so exciting. Right. So wait, let's divert, let's divert for a second. Elisa, you tell us in your words, what's the thermic effect of food? Well, that's basically just in layman's terms, um, how, how many calories your body takes to like burn, burn food. So we add that principle on, it's an option that you can add if you want a more exact tracking, um, to get an idea of, of what it takes to actually burn the food that you're consuming calorie wise. So, yep. So guys, when you consume a diet that is high in protein and fiber, you actually require more calories to digest those foods. And so you end up burning almost more calories than you take in. Um, See a nutrition professional who can explain this to you or functional medicine, nutrition professional who gets this and can help you understand this because this is how you eat a ton and get a ton of nutrition 
while still losing weight or burning fat. Um, so you see, again, like this is a ton of food. Most people get a plan like this from me. And the first couple of days they're like, I'm full. Like I'm really full. I can't even oh, eat yeah. you gave me. And also like, what the heck you put ice cream on my plan? Like, aren't I going to gain weight? And then they're fascinated how the first couple of weeks, they just start to drop pounds. And they're like, oh my God, same thing. Elise is saying, I, I did not think this was possible. 100%. I like not only haven't gained weight, I've lost weight. And now I have a ton of energy. And now I feel like an athlete. Now I have to burn all the energy I have by working out or I'm not going to be able to sleep. Um, yeah, like- yeah I, I just think that uh, it, it sounds like it does sound a little bit like like a pipe dream. But if people just trust us on this one and, and lean into something that's a little bit scary for a little while, right? You know, like just even test the waters and, and see how you feel for sure. But if you had told me that I wouldn't have food cravings, cause I, you know, on our, on our first call, I said that I don't have a sweet tooth. I have sweet teeth because <laughs> my, my desire for sugar is probably like three times the uh, national average, but I don't have cravings anymore. I used to have candy all the time. I have no candy and it's not because I restrict myself. It's because I just genuinely don't want it. So. Yep. That's good. And this is because guys, like the, the payoff really here, and that you'll see if you're watching this on video is that this plan that we just talked about, which is high, a lot of food, your ice cream's still there, right? You're going to be full. It meets all of your vitamin requirements for the day. And it meets all of your mineral requirements except salt. And then calcium only because this is like a little bit low dairy. So over time we would supplement somebody with calcium or have them eat even more ice cream maybe. Um, <laughs> Cause dairy is actually, yeah, a good source of calcium. So, but what you'll see is when your body gets this every day, you don't have cravings. Mm-hmm. Cravings are your body's language of letting you know, I'm, I'm missing something. I need a vitamin. I need a mineral. I need protein. I need omega threes to stay healthy. We're just very disconnected from that. And we're not taught how to interpret the language of our body. So what Elise and I are begging you guys to either talk to us about or realize on your own is that that language is letting you know, you need micronutrients. And if you're not tracking, you cannot know which ones you need. And when you track, what I love about chronometer is that it empowers you to understand where to get these micronutrients. So in this sample plan, we cheated a little bit. We gave this person a prescription grade multivitamin, which I think is totally fine and acceptable. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Um, but you'll see if you were wondering, like, you know, how do I get more vitamin D? All you do is you have you hover over the nutrient and it's going to tell you oily fish like salmon, right? And so this is so empowering because it will teach you about nutrition, honestly, more than a master's degree more than typical nutrition education. I have interviewed a lot of RDs in my life who know nothing about nutrition. I have discovered right after like really seeing if they actually know how to build a meal plan that meets these requirements. I would encourage you guys, if you've been to a nutrition professional, they gave you a meal plan, log in and chronometer. 100%. Yep. Does it add up? Probably not. Right. Unless the nutrition professional that you're, you're working with uses a software like this, they have no idea how many micronutrients you're getting. It's really astounding. And so I want you to do an audit of your diet and see what you're getting. If you do not check, you cannot know and find where the gaps are and start to get curious. Now, if you are somebody with a serious history of disordered eating or eating disorder, have somebody else do this for you. This is what we do in my clinic, right? So we're not going to show you calories, but what we're going to show you is the micros that you're getting. And then we build you a plan that does this for you, including foods that you love. So if you're someone who's like, I'm never going to track, I don't care enough, but I just want someone to do this for me. This is what we do in the clinic. Um, but you can, if you, tracking doesn't bother you, you can download Chronometer right now. At least like me. Okay. Tell us more. Yeah. Tell everybody how to do it. It's, it's free. Uh, you can download it on Android or Apple. You just go to the app stores and punch in chronometer, or you can go to our website and they actually sync back and forth. So, um, Dr. Henry right now is on the website version. We have an app as well and they sync real time back and forth. So you can, you know, if you're on your computer, you can log, uh, they do have different benefits. Obviously the information presented here is a little bit easier to see. And I do want to like, it's awesome that you showed us what hovering over a nutrient does. Like it can feel overwhelming sometimes, you know, if, if you're coming from just tracking calories and then you're like, Whoa, I'm tracking like 80 things now that can feel a little hard. There's baby steps. And then there's me. <laughs> so people, people can shoot me any message on any of our social channels. We have Facebook, we have Instagram, 
Twitter, send a smoke signal my way to Revelstoke, BC, yeah. <laughs> whatever it takes, email me directly. Um, or our staff, we have an amazing and knowledgeable staff. Like the fact that we have a nutrition scientist literally just there 24 seven, maybe not 24 seven, but <laughs> eight hours a day, five days a week. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot about, about the quality of, um, of our staff and we, we take that very seriously. So, um, we're here to help like translate anything to do with chronometer and help with nutrition. So, and then there's you, people can, you know, work with you as well. And obviously, I mean, I would love to work with you. You're just, just, a, just a beauty. <laughs> Look at all that energy. <laughs> So, well, and guys, if you're listening and you're like, man, these guys sound like they have lots of energy or I wish I was like, I sounded that happy again. Remember we're, this has worked for us, mm-hmm. right? Like we're not talking about anything we haven't experienced ourselves. And this is why we're both so passionate about this. And I'm particularly passionate, passionate about chronometer because to me, it democratizes access to good medicine. It democratizes access to nutrition education. That is your birthright. If you were born in a human body, you should know how to make it work. You should know what to give it so that it works. And again, it's really not that complicated. The more you use this, the more you're going to realize all I have to do is hit hundred percent of these every day. Right. And again, there's people t- everywhere who can help you, but I want you to have health like this. I want you to stop feeling tortured by food or having a disordered relationship with food. And it's possible. You heard from Lisa, you heard from me. I want to leave you with a couple more things before we close. So people who have disordered relationships with food are actually far more likely to have nutrient deficiencies than people who don't. Right. So people with binge eating disorder are far likely to be deficient in potassium, vitamin C and folate. I'm going to link where I post this on my blog. We're going to, I'm going to have a blog post with this video. I will link these resources for you guys. If you want to go read these studies, um, people who have impaired taste. And so who really look for super sweet things, right. Or they tend to binge on super sweet and salty things often have a deficiency in zinc, which affects appetite, right? Uh, iron deficiency is going to make you crave indigestible foods, like even ice, right? This is not fringe science. This is in the medical literature. We know this for a fact. Additionally, when you have a diet that's low in things like iron and calcium and other micronutrients, you can have impaired sleep. And everyone on the planet knows after a couple nights of poor sleep, we are all reaching for the sugar and the fat because your body is craving really easily digestible sources of quick energy, right? And over time, this can predispose you to health problems. So there is an abundance of science behind true nutrition and its ability to get you food freedom. So please, if you have questions, You can schedule a free discovery call with me. It's 15 minutes through my practice. You can reach out to Elisa and I'm going to tell, have her tell you how in a second, right? But you don't have to struggle. You are not alone. We've been where you are. Please let us help you. Elisa, let people know where they can find you. So yeah, I'm I'm literally all over the internet. You can uh, DM slide me on Instagram at it's at chronometer underscore official. We're chronometer on Facebook and Twitter. And then we have a Facebook group as well. There's there, you know, I'm, I'm in there. The rest of the staff is in there. Other chronometer enthusiasts. I'm also all over Reddit. Reddit is one of my favorite places on the internet. We have a community there as well, or people can email me directly. Um, it's Elisa. So that's E L I I S A at chronometer.com. And then we have the support email, which is support at chronometer.com as well. I love it. And guys, Elisa, two eyes. Don't forget. I know. <laughs> two eyes in there. Otherwise, you know, won't get to her. Um, so I want to thank you so much, first of all, for coming on here and sharing your story, but also for the incredible work that you're doing through chronometer to change the world. Oh, that's, I love my job. If I help one person, then uh, that's all that matters to me. So I want everyone to feel great and be happy. I I really do. Really do. So uh, yeah, log in nutrition, ask me, or you know what, work with with Dr. Henry here, because who doesn't, who doesn't want that ball of energy on the other side of their nutrition plan? (laughs) We've both got your back guys. So thank you so much. And we will do this again soon. Have a great day, everybody. See you.